Hi everyone, it's Brian from Office Worker Health here. I'm incredibly excited to let you know that I'm launching an online healthy living challenge, 30 day healthy living challenge. So this video is all about introducing that. And if you're interested, which you should be, then keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to share my screen here if I can. How's that looking? So, 30 day healthy living challenge. Starting in November, November 1st of this year, 2016. So, if you're looking to sign up, then you should be thinking about it right now and getting ready for the 1st of November. It's going to focus on three areas exercise, nutrition, and mental strength. So, they're all interlinked. I'll talk about that a bit more now shortly. So, what is the challenge? It's 30 days, it's online, and it's a health and wellness challenge. I want to challenge you to be as healthy as you can be for one month. So it's only 30 days, but I really believe if you stick with the nutrition guidelines, if you stick with the regular exercise that I, that I recommend, then it can be a foundation for long-term, sustainable, healthy lifestyle change. It's, this is, there's no fad diets here, there's no shakes and salads and stuff like that it's good food it's regular exercise and there's some mental health challenges in there as well some really good stuff nothing too taxing just really fun stuff okay so you can look at it as a detox as well if you like if you want to get healthy if you want to lose weight and if you want to feel great so a little bit more about the actual challenges themselves the three areas so exercise, so here's just one example, right, of what I'll be asking you to do. So complete specified workouts that I send you uh, tailored to your fitness level. I recommend HIT, so high intensity interval training. It's body weight only, you don't need a gym. Now, having said that, if you're already in an exercise routine, if you prefer going to the gym, if you're comfortable there, that's fine. You do your own workouts, it's flexible. Um, but I do recommend you go high intensity if you can. <clears throat> I certainly recommend it. You shouldn't be going cardio only if that's your only form of training. Shouldn't be just slow resistance weight work only. There should always be an element of flexibility in there. So that's why I go, I recommend the HIT. But if you sign up, then we can talk more about that. The nutrition challenges. It's not like uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Like you don't have to eat a crocodile penis or anything like that. Um, it's... I've got a shopping list, a detailed shopping list. So, you know, the very straightforward challenge is just eat food from the shopping list. It's a detailed list. There's lots on the list. You don't need to get everything. It's just a subset of that list that you should be getting every week and eating from. And there's plenty there for everyone, I'm sure of it. It's just good whole foods. There's no surprises. And one of the nutrition challenges is to avoid alcohol as well. So that will be a big personal challenge for a lot of people. Mental strength challenges. So, so it's kind of fun stuff, but it's, if, you're, if your mind isn't in the right place, then you're probably not going to be in the right place or ready for exercise and ready for nutrition. So there's some, some good stuff like a digital detox, for example, 30 minutes a day, usually before you go into bed, switching off all your devices. Those kind of challenges, um, so there's a lot more of those, um, but nothing too taxing, like I said. So what's included exactly? So I mentioned the exercise routines. You send me a questionnaire when you sign up, when you fill out a questionnaire. I will tailor some exercise routines for you, so those four workouts that I mentioned earlier, and I could send them back to you. Again, you're flexible, you don't have to do those. We should be doing regular exercise four times a week, 20, 20 to 30 minutes if it's high intensity should be enough. The nutrition guidelines, I'll send you on a document with my, my philosophy on nutrition. Detailed shopping list, as I mentioned. I'll send on some flexible meal plans. Um, and flexible is the key word there again. This isn't the type of program where you have to have a hot boiling pot of water and some stringy vegetables for breakfast every morning. It's, um, I give some recommendations. There's meal plants there. If you want to go with them, great. If you don't, make something of yourself from the shopping list. There's, there's a lot of flexibility there. It's up to you. 
30 day challenge calendar i'll just send you on a simple calendar of how you can mark out your your exercises and your challenges as you go through them oh yeah so there'll be daily education motivation and accountability now that's through the facebook group which will be a really great asset so everyone that's going through the challenge at the same time as you will be sharing their their struggles maybe and their successes as well i'm sure and I'm there, I'm with you every step of the way, so on email, and I'll be very active in the Facebook group as well. I haven't mentioned it there, but if, if, if you're particularly struggling, if there's burning questions that you have, then I'm very happy to get on, jump on Skype, and we can have a chat about it. A bit about me then, if you don't already know me. So I'm the owner at Office Worker Health. <clears throat> we'll talk about that shortly. My background is in IT though, so I had 12 years working in an office environment, so that's kind of where I came up with the idea of office and health, and mainly because of all the bad habits I saw over the years from my colleagues. Health and well-being was always a passion of mine, so I went back to college at night while I was still working in IT, and I completed courses in exercise and fitness and sports nutrition, and I got distinctions in those, and I absolutely loved those. And once I was qualified, uh, I started writing my blog. That's about two years ago. It's over at officeworkerhealth.com. So if you want to know more about me and read up on me and what I do, then check out that site there, officeworkerhealth.com. Okay, so who is it for, the 30-day challenge? So if you want to look, feel, and function better, it's for you. If you're looking for improved energy, sleep, and overall health, if you're looking to lose weight in a healthy and sustainable way. Now, this, this isn't one of those lose, lose weight in 30 seconds type challenges and lose weight quickly, right? It's, it's a lot more sustainable. It's good food, like I mentioned, whole foods, and it's regular exercise. That's what I'm promoting. Having said that, if you, if you do feel like you need to lose weight, if you are a little overweight, and you stick to this challenge to the letter of the law, then you will lose weight, guaranteed. If you're looking for a detox in advance of the Christmas madness, okay, so it's the month of November, so this rolls in nicely to December. Imagine how energetic and healthy you'll be feeling on the 1st of December if you've, if you've gone through this challenge, ready for the Christmas party season. So it's also for, yeah, people that are sick of fad diets, starving themselves and shakes and salads as i mentioned before there's none of that in this it's just good food and lots of food as well the more you exercise the more you should be eating those that want to get lean strong and healthy rather than skinny so again promoting the 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 lean lean muscle rather than building lean muscle rather than uh, losing weight here although you we should lose fat uh, going through this challenge. So strong is sexy. I've been totally transparent here as well, folks. This, this challenge won't be for everybody. And do not bother signing up if you're not prepared to work hard. Just because you're signed up to this doesn't mean all the work is going to be done for you. You still have to work hard. You've got to do the exercises every week. Um, and you've got to commit time to the challenge. I would estimate about an hour on average a day some days you might do more, some days might be less. You may be able to catch up at the weekends. Better though if you can dedicate an hour, and that's not an hour of exercise, that's an hour of everything. There'll be some exercises, there'll be some nutrition preparation perhaps, there'll be a mental health challenge, which is something like, ah, I might even be just reading some fiction. So it's not all taxing stuff, like I said, but do be prepared to commit an hour a day to this. And don't bother signing up either if you're not prepared to forget what you already know, the curse of knowledge. So what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of us have been conditioned to believe maybe certain foods are, are healthy, certain forms of exercise are required or necessary. I'm just asking you to, if you'll sign up to this challenge, just forget about that for the 30 days and just trust me on this. Go with what I'm, what I'm advocating and see how you get on. That's it. Now, if you don't intend sticking to the shopping list, to the nutrition guidelines, or giving up the booze, then realistically, don't, don't bother signing up. This is a real personal challenge. So, yeah, if you're going to be out boozing a lot, then it's, it's probably not for you. Yeah, and you should really have access to the internet and Facebook if you want to get the most out of this challenge. Okay, so how does it work? 
I'll uh, link to this presentation and the bottom of this um, video. So you can sign up to my website. It's 99, incredible value, 99 value all in. And um, yeah, just try and get a personal trainer for a month for that price or a nutritionist or any of those kind of people. Closer to 99 euro an hour, I think. And not only that, but if you're not happy, I will give you your money back. And I'll just ask you one question. What could I have done better uh, with the program? That's the only question I'll ask you if you do want your money back. So now, so the actual process itself, you sign up on the site there through the link. You'll be sent a questionnaire. Um, so fill that out, return it to me, and then give me a couple of days to work on that. I'll then send you your challenges. I'll send the exercise routines, if you want to stick with them, of course. I'll send you on the nutrition guidelines document, and then the shopping list as well, uh, and then some meal plans too. And I will add you to the Facebook group as well, the private Facebook community. So that'll be very active. That's where a lot of the action will be, is in that Facebook group. A lot of the motivation, a lot of support. I'll also be posting lots of content in there. There's lots of articles to read if you're interested in that kind of thing, if you're interested in learning more, and also some uh, maybe some YouTube videos as well. Okay, I think that's it, is it? Yeah. So if you have any questions at all, you can email me there. It's brian at officeworkerhealth.com. Go to the blog, as I already mentioned. Um, now, the kickoff is the 1st of November. So if you want to sign up, there's a few bits and pieces to take care of beforehand there. It's better if we get that all out of the way before the 1st. So sign up before the end of October if you can. And that way you'll be able to fill out your questionnaire in plenty of time and have a read through your documentation in advance of the first so you can hit the ground running then and I've added a link again so I will put this presentation uh, and all the links that I've mentioned at the bottom of this video okay so thanks for checking this out and I look forward to seeing you in the challenge